Apple recently released a new firmware version for the AirPods and in this video we are going to be looking at the version itself and we are also going to be looking at how you can update your AirPods as well as what are some of the bugs and issues that this version aims at resolving. First thing you ideally want to do when you have a new firmware version is to connect your AirPods to your iPhone so just bring it close and open it like this. You notice the LED green indicator once it blinks off so right now it's on and once it's off like that we can go ahead and close this and also close the case or keep it open and if you go into your settings like this here you can see airpods pro one they showed up right there and if you click on there you can go all the way down you'll be able to see like the version here and if you click on it right there you notice the version that i have it's 6a321 and that's the current latest version for the airpods pro first gen which is this one that i have here and basically that's how you check for a firmware version if you want you can also check through the bluetooth settings and then going to the info tab of the airpods pro you see a similar thing right here that's another way that you can find it and of course this version that i'm talking about here is for the airpods pro first gen and a few others that have the same build number so we'll get to that shortly but in case you are wondering how you can update your airpods to the latest firmware version or if you want to update the firmware version of your airpods the first thing you do is to basically open it up and then make sure they are connected to your iphone there's this green or in in some cases it will be amber this indicator light once it goes off like this you can basically close this and just leave them close to your iphone besides like this it approximately takes about five minutes to basically allow them to update by themselves over the air and a good practice thing that helps is to make sure if you go into your settings and then go to your airpods you can see the case as well as the pods themselves battery percentage so just make sure they are charged up at least above 75 percent as good practice as if it's low sometimes that hinders the update process itself and sometimes if this does not work wirelessly what you can do do is if you have lightning airpods connect the lightning end here and then the usb-c end to your mac and then just leave them laying down like that and they should be able to update if that does not work then you want to go ahead and remove the airpods and disconnect the cable and make sure they are connected to your iphone and listen to some sort of music for like a minute or two and then after that close the application but leave them connected to your iphone you can still put them down like that it just re-establishes the connection and then they should ideally be able to update to the latest firmware version that's available now obviously this is not the only firmware version that they released when it comes to airpods in fact if we go to the airpods um apple page right here this is the latest one you can see they released firmware updates for different devices so if if you notice here 6a324 this is the new firmware version for the airpods max so the same update process still applies and then if you have the airpods second gen the same build number or firmware version that i actually have on the airpods pro first gen is the same here and you can go here on apple's website i'll leave it in the description of this video so that you can read about the changes themselves and here you can see the different airpods that we have and the current latest firmware versions if you are not if you have any of these and you see a version that's older than this like for example airpods first gen you don't have this then that means you have an opportunity to be able to update your airpods to the latest version in terms of what they fix when it comes to this version the 6a321 version that i have for my airpods pro first gen you can see it's just bugged fixes and other improvements it's kind of unfortunate that apple won't tell us exactly what it is that they fixed but i had an idea and i looked onto different forums as well to see some of the issues that people were experiencing and i'll be happy to let you know that when it comes to this new version that we have here well one of the issues that people were experiencing was audio cutouts when listening to like youtube using a browser 
and I tested it on my device here and on my iPhone as well as my Mac and audio seems to be constant and there's no cutout. So it seems like for that few selected number of users that are experiencing that, that has been resolved. Also, there was an issue with spatial audio and this was prominent when listening to music in the Apple Music application. I experienced it before the update and in Spotify, I wasn't actually having any issue, but it only was being experienced through Apple Music. And unfortunately, that issue seems to be around periodically. It's a hit and miss and hard to replicate. So that's something that I'm still experiencing at this point in time. A fix that's actually here when it comes to handoff or audio handoff between my devices connected to my Apple ID is fixed when it comes to this new update because sometimes I'll be listening to audio on my iPhone and then when I play something on my Mac, audio would not transfer over. It would sort of pause and I would have to sometimes disconnect and reconnect for it to work. But with this latest firmware version that has been fixed after the update completed, I was able to test transparency modes as well as noise cancellation. And I would be happy to let you know that after I did that, well, I didn't have any issues. And before that, I wasn't ex actually experiencing much. So it's more or less the same for me when it comes to noise control. A few of the things to highlight here were well, have to do with uh, sound quality when listening to YouTube audio is good no problem when using Spotify sound quality is good the only problem I have was with Apple music where sometimes when I am listening to spatial audio I might experience a few hiccups just here and there but overall sound quality in other apps uh, seems to be really good and even the Apple music one is minor it's a hit and miss also there's no crackling noise like what some users have experienced on some forums. I haven't experienced any of that. And when it comes to like the battery life of these AirPods, well, I recently just updated and this is something that just came out. So it will take some time for me to be able to test this out and see how good of a battery life this is. I typically don't wear these on a daily or that much, but I'm pretty happy with the new software update. I just wish there was a way that Apple would be able to give us a manual option to update the AirPods and give us more notes as to what these firmware updates try to address so that we can test them out. But other than that, this is the AirPods Pro first gen that I just updated to the new firmware version. It's 68321 and if you have the AirPods Max or the AirPods first gen, you saw the associated for more versions that you can update to. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, that's about it for me. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.